So get this, obesity now kills more people than starvation. It's a huge public health enemy with over 600 million adults worldwide suffering from it. Me and this gang are working hard to keep the weight off, to be healthy, to get fit. Because obesity has been linked to a health time bomb, type two diabetes. Around 400 million people across the world suffer with type two diabetes. Come on, but here's the thing. Almost 90% of them are obese. Come on. Adults with diabetes have an increased risk of heart attacks and stroke. And that's why we need to fight diabetes with everything we've got. So a week ago, I gave the team activity trackers so we could keep track of how much exercise we're doing. How about you, Emma? Yeah, I walk everywhere now. 10,000 steps, I think that's about five miles. I've got an idea for one more bit of exercise. Yeah. More low impact, this one. But oh. first, lunch. Oh, yeah. yeah? yeah. Come on. I want to find out more about the connection between obesity and type 2 diabetes. So I'm going to give a call to Dr. Alessandra Petrelli. Uh, she's a researcher who's supported by AXA, and her research is looking at just that. Hi, Greg. Hey, Alessandra. So tell me about your research. According to current estimations, by 2013, one adult out of five will be obese. My research looks at our T cells, types of white blood cells essential for the immune system. T cells that we find in fat are altered in obese patients, and this might be causing insulin resistance. Okay, so obese people have different immune systems, different T cells, and that can lead to insulin resistance. I hope in the future we can balance the immune system of obese people, meaning we can better control type 2 diabetes. And meanwhile, best advice for our guys? Time to get going with your cycling. Thanks, Alessandra. That guy there is Brian Kamstra. He is an incredible pro cyclist and his whole team have type 1 diabetes. Now, type 1 is different to type 2. With type 1, you can't actually produce any insulin at all, so you have to manage your intake of it. Brian is super fit. Just goes to show you that you can fight diabetes and still achieve your goals. Just arranged to meet up with Professor Helen Colquhoun, who's doing some really fascinating research into how big data can be used to predict complications of diabetes. Hey, Brian. Hi. Brian, meet Helen. Hello. So you both use data. Do you think that big data can beat diabetes? Well, I certainly hope so. We now have lots of different kinds of data available in large-scale electronic format. And by putting the right sorts of data together, we can understand much more clearly why some people get diabetes and others don't, and why some people with diabetes get complications and others don't. And where do you get all that data from? One very important domain of data at the moment is electronic healthcare record data, which we are able to access in anonymized format in secure data safe havens. But another source of data is wearable data from devices. Like these? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You must be collecting so much data at the pro cycling level. What are you getting from your bike right now? We have a power meter, so it measures my power, my heart rate, uh, elevation, distance, time. What do you do about monitoring your, your blood glucose levels? Uh, we use, uh, during training and racing, uh, a device. Uh, it's called a, a continuous glucose monitor. It collects a huge uh, amount of data from your blood glucose. So oh. you're... You're continually monitoring your blood glucose? Yes. That's amazing. You know, type 1 diabetes is really very fine-tuned management of one's metabolism. Yeah. And to be able to do that at the same time as an elite sport demonstrates the feasibility of that sort of management of diabetes with modern technology and with modern information. What an interesting day. Brian, such an inspiration. And Alessandra and Helen, both doing some fascinating research. I just feel like we're at this dawn of a new era of personalized medicine, and big data is gonna be the driving force for new treatments.